direct drive wheels are the magic key for the sim racing heaven's door and every old timer here who switch from belt or gear driven wheelbase remember that huge big white smile from that transition the difference of smoothness the detailed force feedback within every little texture of the road the speed of the inputs that first catch of the car from the huge slide i still remember the level of excitement to actually understand what the car is doing and start driving on real-time feeling and not prediction some years ago that was a world for few chosen ones because costed a fortune and the only reason i could afford one was because of a friend today we have entire bundle including 5.5 newton meter direct drive base steering wheel with 22 inputs and shifters plus two pedals basically everything we need to start driving virtual car the mozart 5 is the entry of the entry level direct drive world for 5.99 and deserve proper recognition the question is is this bundle really enough to give us proper taste of the direct drive heaven? Let's start with the base. The last few years I had most of the big boys from the first Simucube to Fanatec DD1 and 2, the Simucube 2 entire line, the Sim Magic Mini, and the last 7 weeks I'm pushing the Mozart 9. They all have small differences in the way they deliver the force feedback, with the Simucube 2 being my favorite, but one thing is for sure, they are all awesome the question in my head is are those 5.5 newton meter from the r5 really enough to give me proper force feedback to fully understand the car and drive it on my own limits as i'm pushing the mozart 9 through the hell the last seven weeks and i am very used to that fsr will for first test i replace just the motor as any other base on the market we can't use all the power of the motor without clipping off the force feedback and i had to find the sweet spot it was a long time to drive on 4 or 5 newton meter force feedback and the first moment felt weak but in only few laps i hit my times basically the only difference were the overall gain and the level of smoothness the speed the details everything was just like on the R9 with which I'm in love by the way. I had the confidence of pushing the car on the limits and race really hard. For competitive racing I didn't felt limited at all. I won't say it was enough and I still prefer as a minimum the R9 which is double the power but from speed and fidelity the R5 gives me the same confidence when chasing the limits of the car. The next step was to change the wheel and that was a noticeable downgrade. Of course the FSR wheel only cost more than the entire R5 bundle and I expected that. They're both 280mm diameter which make that transition easier but shifting is another story. It took me an entire day till I get used to those soft and short moving shifters till I found some confidence to push the car and reach my times. Between those two wheels the force feedback felt absolutely the same but I wanted to see if the R5 power can afford bigger size. The 32mm RSV2 which is designed to work with all the bases from most including this one here take place and I jump in rally cars for first test. For my big surprise I didn't felt any loss of power but instead I felt a little bit more smoothness of the force feedback and a little bit more comfort in the inputs. That was something I didn't see coming as my favorite size is 300mm. The base despite the 5.5Nm still feels great and in comparison to the belt driven club sport base from Fanatec which I had for years feels a little faster and smoother and the V2.5 from Fanatec was one of my favorite bases for the money on the market. I will come back to the base later, but let's see those two pedals from the bundle. First, let's not forget this equipment is made to be used on a desk attached with this clamp and pedals on the carpet. If you're gonna use it that way, you will always be limited as the desk may move and the pedals slide around. This equipment has so much more potential if it's properly attached to 
some kind of rig. That being said, those pedals are bottom torsical springs and house sensors and they are soft for carpet use, they must be like that, but for rig they have huge potential. First, they are metal construction, which means load is not a problem. Was a segment that break it, which will totally transform the feeling. This tune with one elastomer, spring and two spacers can be easily attached to the pedal construction. That kit is probably in development and in that configuration works ok, but far from perfect. That dual configuration with different load of the spring and the elastomer will never work properly for precise muscle memory. Progressive load and linear are ok for the brain to be precise, but that soft to hard will always be confused for the muscle precision. Once I replaced the pedals I was all over the place and two tenths of pace, but as I've said there is huge potential as that house sensor have huge resolution. I have here the MCM talent to break it with many different load elastomers and as we still need some movement in the pedal I replaced the muzzle spring and elastomer with this 50 kg progressive one. I got around 16k of scales from that house sensors and now feels like a normal load so elastomer based pedal and I instantly bring back my pace. As Moza show us many times they actually listening the community, I'm sure they will fix that as with single replacement of that little spring with another elastomer, this will be huge improvement. So here is my final impression, for $5.99, this is the best bundle on the market today. It is upgradable as well with the brake kit which needs some improvement to make those pedals almost perfect and for now the two new wheels, the FSR and the RSV2 are compatible. If you want to have some fun from time to time, driving different sims on your desk is the perfect choice and you will love it. If you are on any gear driven wheel like a Logitech and you look for little upgrade, this thing will send you to another dimension. If you are on the latest belt driven wheels from Fanatec or Trustmasters with similar power and looking for direct drive, I will suggest to skip the R5 and save for a little longer. It is better base for sure, but if you want to feel blown away from the new direct drive experience, you have to go for at least R9 and above. If you want to see more in-depth review with all the numbers and software guide, I will share in the description the boosted media review in which we'll have done absolutely awesome job. My goal in this one is to mostly give you impression from competitive driving point of view and feeling in comparison to other direct drive wheels on the market and if you are a PC player right now with this price there is no competition.